Hi, Joey. Thanks for your time. Um, just on both sides of the ball today, it seemed like you guys executed in big moments and kind of came away with those big plays, something that was missing in the first couple of weeks. I mean, what kind of changed there and what did you see from your perspective kind of uh, in the big moments? Uh, we just executed, especially on special teams too. We executed on special teams. We almost got a um, fumble recovery. So just three parts of the um, game, we played tough from the first quarter to the first, um, to the fourth, my bad. And we haven't did that in the last couple of games. We just started off slow, but we got the chance to um, start off fast and we ended fast. So I'm proud of the team. On Hayes. Hey, Joey, congratulations on the win this afternoon. Uh, earlier you know, this year, Coach was kind of talking to us about playing complimentary football. Um, you know, one hand, I guess, taking care of the other. Um, in Michigan's 11 drives today, they accumulated 286 yards. Um, 133 of those yards were on two drives. So the defense really did its job in um, just kind of holding it down. What, what was different about this week and um, kind of seeing it all come together? Um. We were just tired of it, just tired of um, losing. That's not us. That's not this program. And we want to show everybody that that's not us. And I feel like we went out there and we showed it today. That's how we play football. We put it out there on tapes and everybody's got to keep continuing. Greg Pickle. Joey, would you say that was a different mindset this week compared to weeks past? Is that how you guys approached Sunday through, obviously, today? Yeah. Um, you know, this team hasn't beat Michigan at Michigan since 2009. And we wanted to change that. We wanted to be the team. Everybody counted us out. So we had, we had, we gave, we got this opportunity today to show on the field why we're not um, what everybody think we are. We did it today. Mark Brennan. Joey, what was the mindset after the bat it uh, ball uh, penalty? I don't think any of us had ever seen that, but. There have been games in the past where something like that might send you guys a little bit sideways, but you kind of came through. What was the mindset right after that happened? Um, if they're not going to give us two at this way, we're going to get it another way. And that's what we did. They got that call. They got a first down on the third and long that should have made them punt. But we ended up stopping them on the fourth and one, and that really sealed it right there. That just shows us how we Paul. Elton Hayes. Hey, Joe. Freak wasn't out there this week. Um, he's a guy, senior, you know, veteran leader. What um, what impact or like what what impact has he had on that cornerback room in his absence? You know, uh, yeah, coaching you all up on the field. What are some of the things he's saying to you all? Um, Reek's always been a leader on and off the field, and he has been able to play with us for a couple games. So he transitioned and been a leader off the field. He's been like a second coach to us for the corner room, giving us tips, sheets. He's always talking, communicating with us. And um, that really helped us a lot, just having that on the sideline, having that guy on the sideline be able to talk to us is um, has been a really big part. He's still doing his part. Mike Foreman. Hey, Joey, I know you haven't been there a long time, but is this the biggest win since you've been at Penn State? Well, me being on the field, yeah. Yeah, this is my biggest win for Penn State. First year starting, this is the only win we have. Yeah, this is the biggest, biggest win. You think, how, do the, how do the rest of the guys think about that? How do you feel the locker room is? Uh, this, you know, nobody, a lot of people can't say they beat Michigan at Michigan. So especially with this family in this program, it hasn't been done since 2009. So coming out here and to be able to get this win has been a lot. And this team is happy right now. We just got to move forward. One of them mentality. Joe Giuliano. Joey, two of your better uh, players on the field tonight were true freshmen, uh, Kevon Lee and Parker Washington. What do you think of their performances and, and, and how they stood up uh, against the you know pressure of you know coming up with a win? Um, they've been showing it all, all year. Even though they're young guys, they're ready to play. And they put it on tape multiple times. I'm just happy for those guys that they had a chance to ball out today and get this dub. Shout out to them. Mark Logan Rich. Joey, what was your view of the fourth down stop with Shaka and Ellis Brooks? That was big. I mean, they tried they tried to um, get us earlier on the third down. And um, they didn't give it to us. They gave it to them. And we kept playing hard throughout the whole game. That didn't slow us down at all. And when our fourth and one came and we got that stop, that was that was um good feeling right there. That's hard work.
Greg Pickle. Joey, was there a guy or guys that kind of came in either on Sunday or Monday and said that that sort of idea of enough is enough, we're tired of losing, we need to figure this out? Were there a couple of guys that led that charge, or what do you remember about that? Um, yeah, everybody on the team wanted to change. I mean, nobody wanted to be a loser. Nobody wanted to lose games. And we all had that mentality, like, we need to change. And I feel like everybody this week stepped up and played a big role. And we just followed the um, program and followed the ex and we executed what we had to do. And we got this win. Hey, we have time for one more for Joey. So we'll end with uh, Parthu Paje. Hey, Joey, what's going on? Um, you touched on it a little bit, but just Kevon Lee being a true freshman and coming up big the way he did today. Uh, Obviously, uh, you, you talked about your journey, you know, you being a true freshman last year and all the strides that you've made. Um, you just being in those shoes, being on campus and being a first year guy, how much more of an appreciation does that give you for what Kevon was able to accomplish today? Big. I mean, for any true freshman to come in and, this, and play NCAA football and make an impact every game, that's huge. A lot of people can't do that. A lot of people that's not even freshmen can do that. So that's that's big for him and Parker. And I'm just glad they had the opportunity to show that.